Hi, I'm Paris, and I've been posting videos about my weight loss journey over the past year, over 50 pounds now, but for the past month or so, it's leveled off into a long plateau, and I did a video saying I wasn't sure if it was going to continue there, afraid it might go up, hoping it might continue down. Well, something interesting happened this past week. The first thing is I learned just how cold sensitive I am now that I'm not wearing that 50 pounds of fat. I get cold when it gets down below 72 degrees now. So different, and I actually have it in kind of an objective format with the car temperature. Previous summers, I would usually set it for 70, 69, no, usually about 70, and other people in the car might complain it was too cold, but it was just comfortable for me. Whereas, as I've lost the weight over this past summer, I noticed I had to set the temperature higher to not be freezing. 73, 74 degrees was about comfortable for me once I'd lost about 30, 35 pounds. But that was just car air conditioning. The past week, we've seen this big cold front come down through the entire US. Almost everybody was setting records for cold temperatures. And here in central Texas, we caught sort of the tail end of it. It was down to the mid 20s at night and only got up to the mid 30s in the daytime. Every hour I was here in the house, I was wrapped in a blanket. Now I think that's one of the contributing causes to what I'll tell you about here in a second. The other contributing cause is the video I did about being at the weight loss plateau. I had a number of people tell me, you need to be more active, get in more exercise. Now I haven't exercised to lose the weight throughout this year. I've done some exercise for health reasons, but not to lose weight because this book, Why We Get Fat, the very first video I did, I talked about this. It's not, the way weight loss works isn't a calculation of the calories in, calories out. It's more complicated. It's tied to your insulin resistance and so forth. So I resisted the idea that I should exercise more to burn off more calories and lose weight. That just doesn't work long term for people. But everyone told me that I should be exercising more, and I know it's true for my health. So my Fitbit, I set from 6,000 steps a day, which is a goal I'm just about always able to meet. Bumped it up to 8,000, which has taken more effort to meet. I get to the end of the day and I'm just over 6,000, so I gotta get on the treadmill or go for an extra walk to get those extra steps in. So somewhat more active, but not a lot more active, not doing any kind of aerobic exercise. So those are the two contributing factors to my appetite becoming voracious. The past week, I've averaged close to 3,000 calories a day. I just can't get enough to eat. And within the understanding of that book, Why We Get Fat, I have always allowed myself, since I've been eating whole foods, plant-based diet, to eat as much as I want. I know some days I'll feel hungry and eat more. Other days I eat like maybe 1,600 calories, but I've never had a week like this where every day has been 2,800, 3,200, way up there in the calories. And my concern was if I'm eating all this, I'm gonna be putting the weight back on. I think I've seen where my plateau is gonna go. Very surprising results. So I probably ate close to an extra 5,000 calories that week, did not put on any weight at all. Now I have lots of experience prior to this past year where I would eat more, especially when I was traveling, and I would put the weight on. I would, I would see an instant effect of eating more calories. Within a week's time, I could weigh up to five pounds more, and often would after a one week visit to Seattle to visit my family, I would come back and I would weigh five pounds more. So 5,000 calories of chips and cakes and processed foods and eating out at fast food places is not the same as 5,000 calories of sweet potatoes and apples and tangerines and brown rice and dates. Now that cold wave has passed. As you see, I'm not wearing a blanket. So I am thinking that my desire to eat food will reduce somewhat, will probably stay higher than it was because I am somewhat more active now but my body is balancing it out. It's decided this 190 pounds I'm at now is my set weight. That's where it wants to keep me. It's where I thinks I want to be, but I'd rather be around 175, but we're working on that. So if I eat more and have more calories, I have more energy. I feel like I wanna go do something. I have energy to clean things, which is always appreciated here at the house. I'll go for a longer walk, even though I'm already past the number of steps it says I need. I have the energy to do it because I have all those calories. I'm not taking those calories in and then having them stored as fat. And when the weather's more mild, like it is today, 72 and sunny out, my metabolism will slow down and my appetite will decrease. I'll look at that extra piece of fruit and eh, I don't really feel like eating anything more. My body is finally back in balance, sending the signals when I'm using more energy, you need to eat more, and when I'm not using as much energy, you're not very hungry. 
I'm pretty sure that's the way it's supposed to work. If you'd like to find out more about that book I mentioned, Why We Get Fat, I'll link to it down below this video. It's really the book that opened my mind to this different way of looking at weight loss that's really made such a difference for me. And I'll give you updates throughout the winter. Hopefully you won't see me wearing a heavy sweater and I take the sweater off and I look just as heavy underneath, but I'm becoming more confident that isn't going to happen. I'll see you on the next video.